Hello everyone, Neonjali Puff here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mart Thousand Year Door. In last, in last episode, we um we got Frankie and Francesca back to, to Rogueport, and um Don Pianza retired passing on his leadership to Frankie. So now Frankie is the new Don Pianza, and that's kinda cool. And the reason why I have uh, Vivian out here is because, well, with the scene that's coming up next, I kinda want Vivian out because she's kind of important to the scene. Well, she's not really important. Like the scene, but I just like having her out for the scene, so I kept her out, and uh, yeah. How nice! Now we can go to Poshley Heights, right? We'd better hurry up and find that sixth crystal star. <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. So the sixth crystal star is in Poshley Heights, is it? Oh, that's a rather nice piece of. Well, that's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so! Yep! Build them! Normally, this is where I would finally deal with you and that homely traitor, Vivian! But something tells me that that trying that alone might be unwise, so you live for now. Instead, I'll beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do! <laughs> Oh, Mario! She's serious! We need to get to H Poshley Heights before her! We have to go to Rogueport Station now! That's right. We will. As soon as I cook a few things. I know I'm wasting time. I know this story's kind of weird, but I want to cook the wack bump and the coconut. So you know what? I'll see you guys after those things have been cooked, and then we'll go to the, the uh, train station. Whoa. What we get? Is that special? You know, okay, so now it might be thinking, yeah, this is kind of weird because um, it's actually a nerf. It does five less HP and FP, but it's a rare item and I want to show you, so that's kind of why I did it. Now, yeah, see, look, it's a nerf, see? It does five less, but, you know, it's a rare item anyway, and yeah. And that was a cake mix, by the way. Now let's cook the coconut, and then we'll be on our way. Ooh, no, 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 no. There we go. Now we can go to the train station. We're all set. There's nothing left to do. Um, yeah, let's go. Oh my god, guys. You have no idea how excited I am to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I've been talking about it in all my Smash Bros. Like my Smash Bros. Uh, Brawl videos. I've been talking about it constantly. Now, I, I, I just can't wait. I cannot wait. Sorry about that cut there. Um, I just cannot wait to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It is gonna be so cool. And you look like Penguin Blue Toad from Super Mario, um... A new Super Mario Bros. Wii. A board possibly height, possibly possibly heights, I believe it's called. Yes, and uh, yeah, all aboard. I, I skipped all that dialogue. Oops, but you know what? It's nothing important anyway. There we go, guys. A lot of people like this chapter for some reason. I'm not saying it's, it's bad if you do. I'm just saying it's not my favorite, but it's not it's not a bad chapter though. But anyway, guys, we're already here. That's right. After three weeks, we're finally going to start. Chapter three. Oh, almost three. Six. I ruined it. Three days of ex excess. Express. A a excess. What? What? Okay. Chapter six. Three days of excess. Okay. Yeah. Mario's room. Wow, the Excess Express! This is really nice, Mario! The three days of Poshley Heights are gonna seem like nothing! Huh? Mario? This something lying on the floor. I think I didn't notice it before. What is it? Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. A sticky, yummy, doom. That's not an innuendo. And, um, yeah. Um, my cat's here. Hey, Lily. Oh, no, a weird threat. Could it be Beldum's work? My sister is a weird one. Whoever it is, it's obvious that they're on this train somewhere, right? 
we have to find who's responsible for this crazy... The first thing crazy happens. Now, normally I would keep uh, Vivian out, but, you know, this is what I like to call Ms. Mouse's chapter, because she's... What? We have a... A dried shroom. Okay, then. Might as well use it. I mean, it's a dried shroom. Um, I like to call this Ms. Mouse's chapter because she's our newest one. And, you know, it's chapter six. She's our seventh one, you know, might as well use her. And, hmm, I wonder what Ms. Mouse could, could possibly be, be sniffing. Oh my god, I can't talk right now. I wonder what she could possibly be sniffing out right now. The shine sprite right there. Now let's go ahead and find, um... Who sent us that innuendo threat? I know, sticky, yummy threat. <laughs> okay, never mind, stop. Okay, um, is there anyone to talk to around here? Anyone? At all? See, this chapter is one of the most laid back chapters because we're on the train for most of it and there's no enemies. So, nothing to worry about here. Only problem is that we won't be leveling up too much and that's not good, you know, but. Still, not that bad. I like this chapter. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. I, I like it. I kind of like it. And, uh, hey, you look like a guy who's good at solving mysteries. I'm on my way back home. I have strayed so long, I've forgotten what it looks like. Uh, what? Maybe I'm not supposed to, uh... Maybe I'm not supposed to talk to this guy yet? Okay, let's just go in the rooms then. Uh, let's see. Whose room is this? Oh, hey, hey, guy. You look like the guy I loaned money to who never came back. Me? I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive at Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes to, to the expense account. Yes! This guy's living the life. He, ha he doesn't have to pay anything at all. This guy's lucky. It's you guys. I'm Bub. What? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm getting a birthday present. Cool, aren't you jealous? Let's see what they want to get him. Oh, do I have a story for you guys? So, um, yeah, if you're wondering why there was a random cut out of nowhere, um, that's because in the middle of recording, I ended up not feeling well, like my throat got kind of scratchy, so I decided to, like, you know, stop the recording, or, or no, pause the recording for a little bit and rest my voice. Then it started to get worse and worse and worse, and my nose started to get all screwed up, like I couldn't breathe out of one nostril, and then I ended up getting a cold. Yeah, I got a cold. As you saw in the soap gum video, I mentioned that I got a cold. Um, yeah, that was recorded like, I don't know. But anyway, the first half of this episode was recorded about like, what, four or five days ago. Now I'm finally back recording this again because I got sick in the middle of recording, but now I'm back. And um, yeah, this is a long episode maybe because I forgot that's only half episode. But yeah, I honestly forgot what I was doing. Like completely forgot what I was doing. I don't remember. Um, I, I don't remember what I was doing. I was, it was so long ago. Hello? Hello? Am I supposed to look for someone? Um, I don't know, guys. I might have to skip ahead. Oh, hello. Hello? Hey, hello there. Do you know I used to dream one day of getting a ride to this, tra a ride to this train? And now I finally got a ticket! Dreams do come true! Several gourmet food magazines in here. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Ex Excess Express. That's hard to say. There's a large photo of Chef Shishi Chef Sh Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. That's really hard to say. Chef Shimi, e Excess Express, it's really... This is not good for someone who has a, uh, a stutter like I do. This is not good. It is anti-good for me. Anyway, let's, I guess we can check out all the rooms. Ooh! You're smashing it. Smashing! What's this? Oh, witch! People have... Well, people certainly said that I'm possessed of what of an enchanting aura. What? But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. I would smash... Stop! Okay, never mind. We're looking for a witch. Can you sniff out this witch? No, you can't. I guess I gotta talk to everyone, then. This guy's like, look at this, Chad. Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the, I'm the absurdly famous movie star, Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion dollar art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. 
Oh, and uh, I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that guy. You sound like a total asshole. You asshole. Wait a minute. Is there anything I can steal from your room? No. Nothing I can steal from you. Okay. You sound like a you sound like a a, a penis. Wait a minute. What? I can't open it. Okay. I figured I can't open that. Let's see. What's in here? Ooh, what are inside? Oh wait, she's sniffing something. There's something in this room, guys. We gotta look for it. Wait, at uh, oh, oh, star piece. All right, come on, Wario. This guy. Greetings. Welcome to the Excess Express. I'm here. I'm what is called the train engineer. Our journey to Bosley Heights will take approximately three days. Approximately. And how do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? Guy's vocabulary is amazing. I don't even know what these words mean. I do, but not all of them. Our furnishings delight the eye, but but the sway of your lucrative delights so also. So let's hear it for the express express. So let's hear it for the excess express. Huzzah! Huzzah! Can I mess with the thing? No. Okay. What do I do? I don't know what to do, guys. I honestly don't know what to do. Um, I'll. Go back and I'll just go back and see. I don't, honestly don't know what to do. So um, yeah. Sorry about this, guys. It's been a while. Welcome, welcome, out in this dining car. Well, I think we've already read. I, I assume we read this already. Zip to I'm totally swooning. I hope he comes here soon. Oh man, I really hope he comes here soon, man. Hey, Ro, I am Chef Shimi, the culinary expert. Glad to make your acquaintance. Uh, I mean acquaintance. Sorry, cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's words are so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry in shame. Please do taste it, but my passion does not wither our own in the pot of roniness. I am so sorry. I probably already did that too, I just forgot. How many coins do I even have, anyway? Check my stats. I, I am broke, I spent it all on this Wario costume. Okay, I don't know what to do, hey. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm Help. Help, guys. There's something in this room. Wait, no, I want... There's something here in this room, guys. Where is it? In here? Oh. Oh, there's a star piece in here. I don't know what to do! Do I tell somebody? I remember that there's like a threat or something. Right? Oh, I did it. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? Uh, I, I see, good gracious. If I hear anything else... I won't let me know immediately. Oh, yeah, I'll let you know immediately. Okay, so I told somebody. What do I do now? Go back to my room? Please tell me I did it. Yes, I did. I triggered it. Yes! What's going on here? Hello! Um, yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like haste to me. I mean, slight haste. But what should we call it? That is a question. Before us. That's a question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pods of the super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed! That's that, that will do nicely. Hmm, my dear train passengers, this, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What a mystery! I did that really late. A mystery, you say? Um, a mystery you just said, and, um, um, were exactly, what kind of dish is that? Oh my god. I am known as Paggington. You likely would not guess it, but I, uh, I am a detective. At the risk of your immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. <laughs> and this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh! The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happened, that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all, and this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the, the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman! What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about! Wait, no, I have, like, no idea what you're talking about! That's what you sound like. Um, pardon me, sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I thought I needed to practice my accusation skills. You understand, yes? Sorry. 
Ahem. Very good. Now, let's get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Um, let's get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Aw, uh, this scene's for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hmm. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No! Way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up. You, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer? Geezer! I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but, well, then, who did do it? Hmm, this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. What just happened? Hey, guys. A clue. Traces of something in the carpet. A clue! There are traces of something in the carpeting. Oh, hang on! Look, this looks like smelled stew on the carpet! How marvelous! We can just follow the drops to the thief! It might even be the same person who wrote that sticky, yummy thread theory! What makes me say that? It takes a thief to find a thief, sweetie! That's true, she is a thief, so maybe, like, she knows what she's do- Thing is, that's really cool, okay? She's a thief, but she knows what to look for in a thief, so she's helping us. I like that! Miss Mouse, despite her only being a side character and optional, it's it's really cool to have her in this chat. That's why I always keep her out in this chapter because you know this part specifically. It takes a thief to find a thief, and it leads to you. Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you want? I'm sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? A pot from stolen in the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Focus toy and you're playing the chubby guy. Not nice! What drops the stew on the floor outside? Did, no, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. We looked in there earlier, but there are several gourmet food magazines here. One of them is an issue devoted. Okay, the same thing as we read before. Large photo of Chef Shimi in the cover. Helps us blinding. Aha! There is something under the magazines. We got the galley pot. Galley? What? Galley? Galley? Am I saying that right? Empty stew pot. It's licked clean. Don't! Oh! I'm sorry, I ate it all! It was me! So, you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it and to devour more. Devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping. Shallots? Shallots? Is that what it, I've never seen that word before. Answer! Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never occur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkept facial hair. Er, unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts that identified you as the correct person to- Call her the Rufian! Call her the Rufian! Oh, I just skipped it. Oops. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the one lone detective on this train, the conductor confined it to me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. What do I to do that for? You're already on the way! Okay. You, sir. You're going to jail. Or, I didn't... I wanted to be in, like, a cool exit. Oops. There's still stew on the floor. Who's gonna clean... This is all, I almost burped. Who's gonna clean this up? Anyway, I'll meet you guys back at room six. Ah, sir, you are my hero. You are the hero of my word. You have brought even me from my pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I rob it. Thank you, from me to you, or from you to- wait, what? Here's a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. 
Oh, why must I butcher this language show? So shameful. Please take it, I mean. Star piece. Awesome. Now let's go back to room six. I skipped the first path of dialogue. My bad. But, yeah. Hello, Peggington. Aha! I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is your sticky, yummy threat. I have deducted this from the lack of incriminating clues in this room. Of any incriminating... Any incriminating rooms. Rules. Rooms. Um, clues. Incriminating clues. But in any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain cack of, for detective work. Or knack. Cack? Cack. Knack. So it is decided then. I shall take you on as my new uh, assistant. I almost said acquaintance. Assistant. Huh? Me? Mario as an assistant? That's never been a thing before. To reiterate, my name is Peckington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I am sure you have heard of me, so that's all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. <laughs> that mustache, that nose. Oh, -ho -ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obvious with the famed Luigi, are you not? Well, we call this Luigi when we're wearing the Wario costume. No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. Yummify? And sticky, tasty explosion that family bombs they're definitely suspects. Yeah, hey, that's racist, because they're bombs? Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to redemptory facts and deduce a truth. Okay. But with that, I'm gonna end it off there because I know that, remember, this is only a half episode. Not really a half episode, but it's a half recording, so I have to end it off pretty quickly. I've been going for 20 minutes, but yeah, I should end it off here. This stuff, some, there's some stuff to cut out anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. So as usual, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And as usual, if you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, favorite, and comment. Please like, please like, please like. And, um, yeah, question of the day. Um, I honestly don't know. Okay, you know what? How about a guessing game? Wait, this, wait, that actually be bad. I already said what. You know what? Here, you guys can get anyway. Try to guess what I was sick with. Was I sick with A, the flu, B, the common cold, C, ligma, or D, all of the above? What was I sick with before this recording? Or in between this and the last recording? What was I sick with? See those answers on screen? That's it. Try and guess. And with that all said, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode of Super Paper Mario 47,000 Your Doors. This isn't Bayonetta. See you later, guys. Paper Mario 1000 Your Doors. I said it. I'm, I'm, I am professional.